What's up guys, today we're gonna check out FIFA 21 next generation on the PlayStation 5. If you already own a PS4 copy like me, the next gen upgrade is free. Once you upgrade, you'll notice two versions of the game, the PS5 and the PS4 version. Just make sure you start up the right one. Of course, you'll notice the much faster startup and load times, but there are a ton of other enhancements here. But in terms of the resolution, you get 4K 60 frames per second, and even the performance, the graphics, the physics are much improved. When you're actually playing with that broadcast camera, you may not notice as much, but as soon as you see those close-ups, those replays of the players, of the coaches, of the crowd, the lighting in the stadium, you can easily tell the difference. Especially towards the end of the game when the players start to sweat and you get a lot of reflections coming off of their face. On the PS5, the DualSense controller also has improved functionality here. So you do get the advanced haptic feedback. While playing, I notice a number of different haptic responses. For example, when the referee blows a whistle, you get a very distinct vibration and response. The adaptive triggers are also functional here. Now, when I started the game at first, I couldn't really tell if the adaptive triggers were working. In the start of the game, your players are fresh with full stamina so there's really almost no resistance from the triggers however as you get towards the end of the game and your players start to tire out you'll notice that the adaptive response and the amount of resistance you have to press against just increases accordingly so that's sort of my first impressions here some gameplay in 4k have a look let me know in the comments below what you think and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because there's a ton of next gen content coming your way an early goal in the game just what they were hoping to produce Well, we can see it again here. What a lovely inviting cross into the danger area that was. And finishing like that with a lovely headed goal is absolutely superb. So PSG restart the game. Can they come up with the right answer? Number three, Fabinho. Idris Gay. It is a decent looking attack here. That's how to rob them of possession. Good vision. Can he get onto this? He just needs to keep a cool head. Deary me, a golden chance missed. It might task is to remain focused it's gone in a goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through and the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Mbappe. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Excellent ball over the top. Must take the lead here. And this time, it's in. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. Salah. And he's broken free. He must finish. And a goal!
Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. PSG chasing this game. Let's see if they can succeed on that front. Number nine, Roberto Fabinho. Fabinho. And here's Vinaldo. Firmino. And it's come off the keeper. And it's gone behind for the corner. Over it comes. It hasn't come to very much. Additional minutes are in order. And showing fine vision. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong, told the player exactly what he was thinking. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot, he didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Being pressed hard. Well, visionary passing, and he's in. Still a chance. And a goal! What a magnificent display. It's such a one-sided contest here. Playing with purpose and control. Firmino. Firmino. And it's come off the keeper. And in at the second time of asking. But the goalkeeper badly at fault. Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play, but he was first to react, and it's in the back of the net. And it is full time. Liverpool will be taking a lead with them into the return leg. shining light for his team Roberto Firmino this evening well clearly the difference between the two sides today two goals a really good performance ran into the channel did everything right absolutely nine out of ten